Okay, Leslie, today we're going to go through some arm exercises. It's important before you start that we check that you're sitting comfortably. We're going to start with some deep breathing exercises. As you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, you'll notice your hands on your tummy as you breathe in will move upwards and outwards. This is because your lungs are filling up with air. When you breathe out again, your hands will move back inwards and downwards. These exercises are important to stimulate your circulation and your lymphatic drainage. Next we're going to do some exercises for your neck and shoulders. Start facing forwards and then gently turn your head towards each shoulder. It's important that all of these exercises are repeated in a slow and rhythmical fashion and are repeated as advised by your healthcare professional. Return to a relaxed position at the end of this exercise. Next, we're going to do some exercises for your shoulders. Start with your shoulders relaxed and then shrug them up towards your ears and then return to a relaxed position again. Try not to hold the movement for too long and make sure that this feels comfortable whilst performing it. For this next exercise, it's important that you support your limb. You can do this with your unaffected arm. With your palm facing upwards, gently bring your palm towards your shoulder as you bend your elbow and then gently straighten your elbow again. It's important that you repeat these exercises in a slow and rhythmical fashion. As you have been prescribed a sleeve, it is also important that you wear your sleeve whilst doing these exercises, if at all possible. This will make the exercises even more beneficial. Now continue to support your arm and face your palm towards the floor. Now make a fist and then open your hand spreading out your fingers as much as possible. Again this should be repeated in a slow and rhythmical fashion. This, this exercise is really good for your forearm and also for your hand. Now gently flex your wrist so that your fingers are pointing towards the floor and then bring your hand up so that your fingers are now pointing towards the ceiling. If you feel this exercise pulling or it's uncomfortable at all then please stop. Now with your palm facing the ceiling Raise each finger in turn so that the tip touches the tip of your thumb. This does take a little bit of coordination but it will get easier in time. Now that we've warmed up your arm we can move on to some stretches. These are really important to maintain mobility in your arm. With your hands clasped, slowly and gently raise your arms towards the ceiling. It's important that you do these exercises so that they feel comfortable and you do not overstretch. Then slowly bring your arms back down so that your hands are on your lap. You may find that your movement is limited when you first start doing these stretches. However, in time they should get easier and you'll find that you will be able to reach higher as you continue the exercises. If you continue to have problems or discomfort when doing these exercises, it is really important that you contact your healthcare professional. Now bring your hands up behind your ears. Gently stretch your elbows out as far as possible and then bring your elbows to face in front of you. Return to neutral position. Like all the other exercises, it's really important that this exercise feels comfortable and does not involve any overstretching.
Finally, we should finish off with some more deep breathing. <laughs> 